Cat Synth TV. Hey everybody, Cat Synth TV, and today we pay tribute to Richard H. Kirk, whose passing has just been reported today. Kirk is perhaps best known for his work with the pioneering band Cabaret Voltaire. Their work in the 1970s mixed experimental electronics with a Dada sensibility and found recordings that foreshadowed the electronic noise movements of the late 1990s and early 21st century. They started their own studio, Western Works, out of an old factory in their hometown of Sheffield that fit well with their musical aesthetic. Their sound and sensibility of this period inspired some of our own music and visual work at Katzen. Originally a trio with Stephen Malander and Chris Watson, the group continued into the 1980s as a duo of just Kirk and Malander. It is during this period that Cabaret Voltaire gained its greatest notoriety as a mainstay of underground electronic music and post-punk in the early 1980s, adding more pop and rhythmic elements to their music. The combination of heavy electronic patterns and long samples gave rise to the industrial music of the 1990s. Although by this time Cabaret Voltaire was itself fading and disbanded in 1994. Richard H. Kirk was already beginning to take his music in different directions. As one half of the duo Sweet Exorcist, he explored lo-fi sounds with tracks such as Test Tone, a pun on both Test Tone and a first experiment, aka Test One. He went on to release a wide variety of electronic recordings during the 1990s, often under different aliases. Perhaps the best known of those are Sandoz and Electronic Eye. He continued to work with cut-up sources, adding a variety of rhythms and other elements. One can hear a mixture of inharmonic synth timbres with more conventional sounds like piano and guitar combined in new and different ways. He continued to create and perform as a solo electronic artist well into the 2010s. In 2009, Kirk reformed Cabaret Voltaire with himself as the sole permanent member. This new incarnation was about his own music and moving forward rather than a nostalgia trip, something he himself reflected on in interviews. The debut album of the new Cabaret Voltaire was released in November of 2020 and would be Kirk's final release. As we pay tribute to his legacy in both experimental and popular electronic music, we extend our thoughts to his family, friends, and collaborators. Do you have any thoughts on the music and legacy of Richard H. Kirk? Please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.